Deep in the jungles of Peru lies evidence of the most powerful civilization in pre-Columbian America, the Inca Empire. From their stronghold high in the Andes Mountains of South America, the Incas ruled over millions and built gigantic cities. But remarkably, they had no horses, no wheels, and no written language. At first, the Inca were no more powerful than their neighboring tribes. But in 1438, an Inca leader named Pachacuti proclaimed himself emperor and began to conquer his neighbors, creating the Inca Empire. Pachacuti's name means he who remakes the world. The Inca capital of Cusco grew into the biggest city in Peru. The Inca built roads and bridges that allowed news and armies to travel rapidly through the empire. Pachacuti also changed the Inca religion so that everyone worshiped the sun god. The emperor, or Sapa Inca, was said to be a descendant of the sun god. But Pachacuti's greatest achievement was building a city high up in the mountains. Machu Picchu means old peak, and experts believe that Pachacuti built it as a country estate. The 200 buildings on Machu Picchu were made using perfectly cut stones, all fitted together without any mortar. There's something about the configuration. In 2001, Matt Lauer from the Today Show got a closer look. And look at the seams. This is what we were talking about. This is granite on top of granite, huge blocks, no mortar in there. How did they do this? They had harder stones that were using against the granite, believe it or not, there were harder ones, and they would work away until they could finally get it smooth enough, and then the way in which they fit them in, well, there are different theories about that. Because the Inca left no written records, many mysteries about Machu Picchu still remain. Is there any great theory as to why they abandoned this place after inhabiting it for only about 100 years? Probably the best one is we know that the Incas, when they went into uh, escape from the Spanish, uh, after they conquered Cusco, that they burned a, a large area to make kind of like a buffer zone so that Spanish couldn't, you know, get to where they were hiding away. They eventually did, of course, unfortunately. In 1532, a small group of Spanish explorers landed in Peru, led by Francisco Pizarro. Pachacuti had died several generations before, and the Inca Empire had lost its strength. The latest Sapa Inca had fought a lengthy civil war against his brother, Pizarro captured the new emperor and slaughtered thousands of his subjects. The Inca were no match for the weapons the Spanish carried and the diseases they brought from Europe. In only a few decades, the Spanish conquered millions of native South Americans and seized their gold and silver, becoming the greatest power in Europe. And although the Inca continued to revolt, they were no match for the growing Spanish empire.